not perhaps unlike today that there are many who still allow only their religious life to be on a Sunday many of us who put on our Sunday best our Sunday clothes our Sunday smiles our Sunday attitude and yet that relationship that God and Jesus was pointing to is separated out for just this day or for the days perhaps when we are seen with one another, perhaps on a Wednesday evening or a Wednesday choir rehearsal, or perhaps when we are delivering food to the homeless. But so often we separate out our religious life from our ordinary everyday life experience. Certainly that was what was happening for many of those early disciples and Jesus as he was walking and talking and healing and preaching offered them a new way offered them a new relationship and I think it is summed up in this one line of this prayer thy kingdom come thy dominion come that Jesus was inviting them not to allow their religious life to be separated out but to allow their religious life to become embedded in who they were that truly if God was to come on earth as it is in heaven if God was truly to be present in this world it was not going to be a God who came uh, perhaps like a, a, on an outer space experience that this was going to be a God who was going to be present only if we were willing to allow thy dominion to come thy new realm come on earth as it is in heaven through each and every one of our lives that the calling of Jesus Christ is to, to, to each and every one of us to only embody Christ in the world means that we must embody Christ in our lives. That the only way that this new realm is going to exist on this plane, in this world, in this time is through you and through me. By having this intimate relationship with God. That we are called to make this earth more like God's heaven thy kingdom come to allow our lives to count for something so that this earth might be more like how God expects it to be perhaps even as God created it to be thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago and depending upon your theology that will be 6,000 or 6 million years ago you and I as we engage in this prayer today are being invited just like those early disciples not to separate our lives out and compartmentalize them but to integrate them into one whole body one whole body experience where we can experience the fullness of joy and life itself because the Christ is in us I believe that's what Jesus was inviting us to when he said we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That you and I are indeed God here on earth. Now I understand that that can be seen as puffing ourselves up to be something more than we are. But the reality is that if we truly have the Christ in us, we are the presence of the Holy in this earth we are so connected with God and God is so involved with us that people only get to see the reality of Christ when we are living it out every day of our lives we sincerely become God on earth now, I don't know about you but that's a frightening experience that's, a, that's a, a wary experience because what that means is that we are then called to be accountable and to be responsible for who we are, for what we say, for what we do, for where we go, for the company that we keep, that we are being called as Christ's disciples to perhaps a higher place of living, perhaps to a higher plane, perhaps we are being called to engage in holy ground all times of our lives. Meaning that when we are at work, when we are selling Mary Kay, when we are at chorus, for those of us who are part of the chorus, for those of us who are in chaplaincy, or for those of us who are in seminary, or for those of us who are working in local government, we are called to make our values and our principles a part of all that we do, and sometimes that is incongruent with the reality of the world. 
Jesus is inviting you and me to allow Christ to be present in every situation of our lives so that thy new realm might come on earth as it is in heaven. What a responsibility. And yet what a joy to know that this new realm that we are creating is not something that we do alone but something that we do in community. Something that we get to share when we come together as the body of Jesus Christ. When we come together as the people of the living God. You see, Jesus knew that we had to do this in community. That's why he gathered those 12 disciples together initially and beyond those 12 to many more. So that we, he could model for us that not one of us is an island, but truly it takes a village to create a world. It takes a people's to create change in this planet. Jesus was inviting those initial disciples and all those who came to be followers of him to allow the new realm of God to become present today. And that new realm of God is a God when we, a new realm if, is where a place where we value one another. It's a place where we love one another as God has first loved us. It's a place where we forgive one another lift one another up rather than put one another down. It's a place where we reach out and touch one another without fear. It's a place where we become vulnerable enough where we can truly believe that we are children of God. Thy new realm come. I don't know about you, but I want that new realm here on earth.